Hi everybody. It's Sunday night and I'm getting ready to make a cocktail. Now you know that on Saturdays I often post about cocktail hour after I get home from church and tonight I've decided, you know what, nobody's ever seen me actually make a cocktail. So tonight I have a lemon in my hand and I'm going to show you how to make a cocktail. So we're going to be making a ginger teeny and the first thing you have to do is have hot water because you're going to need to muddle the sugar syrup. So I have here in my Liechtenstein shot glass, every time I go somewhere I bring back shot glasses. So my last trip was Liechtenstein, Zurich, Constance, Germany, etc. And we've got some water, it's about uh, 180 degrees and we're going to put some simple syrup into the shot glass, into the mixing uh, vehicle and I'm just going to pour a little bit of simple syrup, about an ounce. Now of course you have in the store what's called simple syrup but I use sugar in the raw syrup because you can use it for other things like tea and coffee and everything else. So I have the simple syrup in the uh, mixing vehicle, the shaker, and I'm going to pour in about a half an ounce of hot water about 180 degrees and then you can see here you can see here it's now considered muddled so this is much easier than just muddling regular crystalline sugar then we're going to put in our lemon so we're going to cut up a lemon here this is a regular lemon and we're going to put it in my easy squeezer which my sister gave me for Christmas I have two other huge juicers as you know okay and we're going to squeeze the lemon into the mixer not the whole thing about half of it we don't want it too lemony I'll use I'll use this for the second drink okay so we've got that in and now we can put in the ice and for the ice you're putting as much as you want so I've got my Chinese bowl here with the ice in it and we're putting in some ice now it's time for the liquor put in a half a shot of oh man this is hard to open put in a half a shot of Contro or Grand Marnier and if you don't have that and you like margaritas just put in some triple sec okay so it's kinda hard getting the lid off this because I haven't used this in a while okay so I'm now going to use my currently favorite shot glass from Constance Germany and we're gonna put in a half a shot of control then we're going to put in a whole shot of Stone's Ginger. Now this is a liqueur, it's a ginger liqueur and the thing about this is it's only 13 proof so it's not a whole lot so you can put in a whole shot of this and it'll give it a real gingery taste. So you're going to put in a whole shot of Stone's Ginger and then finally I got some good vodka here. Now I like Kettle One I like the Polish vodkas, such as Krakus. Actually, Krakus is a very good Polish vodka, and uh, and others. Absolute also is good. And you want a bracing vodka like a rye vodka. You don't want a potato vodka, and you don't want a wheat vodka. You want a bracing rye vodka because a vodka, a rye vodka, stands up the best to martinis. So we're going to put in a whole shot and a half because a martini is supposed to be a strong drink this will make a little over one martini we'll fill up the glass plus on this so if you have a friend you can put in a little bit more and it'll be good for two and then we're going to shake it now I shake my martinis 23 times. I found that's the best thing. So 
so that the ice doesn't bruise the uh, jet. One for mother, one for grandmother, and one for baby Jennifer. Okay. And pour it into the glass. It might be a little bit foamy, and that's okay. And there we have a ginger martini otherwise known as a ginger tea. Now one would think that I would garnish it with lemon, but there's enough lemon. So you can garnish it with anything you want, and I think I'm going to garnish it with a cherry. Usually the cherries are for sweeter drinks, but a cherry will make this look nice. So if you can do a cherry for a Manhattan, you can certainly do it for this. So now we have our ginger tea. It's about 7 p.m. I'll be having a late dinner tonight. But first, I'm going to enjoy my ginger tea. Now, you know what they do on the, the uh, cooking shows. They taste what they make, and it's always good, right? Even if it's horrible, they always pretend that it's like the best thing they ever ate. But I'm going to give you my honest opinion. Here we go. <laughs> it's a little bit on the sweet side and it's not because of the cherry it's because of the simple syrup I probably could have used a little bit less simple syrup but it's still really good and it doesn't taste I've got how much liquor in it it doesn't taste like a strong drink so it's a good drink that um, that women like that women would like and uh, and younger people of course and uh, I think I'm just going to enjoy this. So I thought, I hope everybody had a happy Sunday and every weekend. And I'll see you next time around. <laughs>